WebStormMate now supports Grunt. So let's go ahead and create our Grunt file. And when you right click on it and say open Grunt console, it'll open the UI for running Grunt tasks. We haven't installed a local Grunt, so let's go ahead and do that first using search everywhere. Just double tap shift and I'll say node and NPM. And from here, I can install Grunt locally by searching for Grunt, choosing it from the list and saying install package. Once that's installed, I can reload the list and no Grunt tasks are found. Before we start typing, let's add a couple JavaScript libraries like Node and Grunt to get better autocomplete. So you can go under Download, TypeScript Community Stubs. And if you search for Grunt here and then click Download and Install, you'll see I have it installed already. So I'll enable it and enable Node. Once those are enabled, you get much better autocomplete for things like Module, as well as things like Grunt and Register Task. So we'll register a default task, which will simply be saying, hello world. Then go ahead and refresh our grunt file. We can either double click or hit enter on this and you can see it runs our default task. Let's go ahead and also install grunt contrib uglify. So we'll go in here and say, search for grunt contrib uglify. So let's we'll install that locally. Then we can go ahead and configure and load in that. So grunt and load npm tasks. And we want to load in grunt contrib uglify. Then we can simply grunt init config our uglify task. Say uglify. We'll set up a dev and the files will be destination of app min.js with a input of app.js. So if I go ahead and create our app.js file and then add some simple JavaScript, I can go ahead and refresh, run my uglify task and get my app min.js file all uglified and ready for me to use. For a more robust example, check out one of many open source projects like Angular. And once you say open Grunt console, you'll see a much larger list with all the different tasks you can run and execute directly from the Grunt console.